everybody welcome back thank you for joining me you are so far away um <laughs> so tonight i am working on a commissioned piece it is my biggest commission piece to date and it's so big that i actually have to be on the other side of my table typically i'm pouring over there on the six foot side i am on the eight foot side of the table and I don't know how I'm going to be able to reach anything over there, but we'll get to that when we get to it. Um, so I've got three cameras rolling. Mine, I've got one over here, which is my old phone. And then I have my husband's phone over here, which he's here in the studio sitting on my nice comfy chair. I have a spectator tonight. You want to say hi, honey? <laughs> he shakes his head. He says no. <laughs> okay, so... Um, what I have here is a 24 by 24 inch, a 24 by 36, and a 24 by 24. And I made sure they were level. Now, obviously, um, I'll show you. This little guy isn't exactly the greatest for making sure everything is level. So what do you do when you need something bigger? You get your husband's heavy duty, big um, leveler. And then that way I was able to make sure everything was perfectly level always, all the way around. So I'll put this aside for now because that little yellow leveler will not work for something this big. All right. So um, I don't even know where to start. So. I've drawn a design with some wispies all on here and it took me forever. As you can see, I did many, many different designs and I finally came up with one I liked. I'll put those all the way over there. So I've come up with one I liked. I am going to uh, leave it here because once I add my white base paint, the lines are all going to disappear. I'm gonna put that there and I've got all my bottles here i've got i don't know how much paint i'm gonna need but i've got four of them so what we have here is the artist loft flow acrylic white uh, mixed with flow troll and water and all my paints are also mixed with flow troll and water and if you want to know and learn how i mix my paints and the ratios check out video number 63 i will link it up here at the top for those of you who are new watching and want to learn how I mix my paints. I am going to flood the canvases and I'm gonna speed you guys up because this is gonna take a while and we'll be right back. ready to go so that took I don't know probably 10 minutes to do um, okay so the colors we are going to be using tonight are metallic cobalt blue by artist loft then we have greenish blue by Amsterdam then we have turquoise green by Amsterdam followed by 24 karat gold by deco art then we have Cobalt Blue Hue by Windsor Newton. Then we have Iridescent Green Yellow by Pebeo Studio Acrylics. And topping it off, Iridescent Blue Green by Pebeo. So those are the colors. And I need my cheat sheet paper here so that I know what on earth I'm doing. Once I get the first line down, then I'll know how to do the rest. So let's move this quickly out of the way and 
I guess I'll just put this here. Can I tell you how nervous I am about this? Like really, really nervous. So I'm going to start from the middle canvas and make sure I do this right because it'll really suck if I don't. So I think I'm going <laughs> as I drip. Maybe I should do that with the lid closed. So I think it's gonna go to here. This is where I wanted it to go, yeah. So I want it to end about here and here. My hands are shaking. So we got that and then we're gonna do a wispy like that. And then over here, we are going, oh my gosh, my hands are shaking. And then here, we're gonna do a wispy here, like that. And then over here, I wanted it to go from, we were going down here. So from here to down here, and then my wispy is going this way, okay? And then here, because we're trying to make it matchy-matchy, we're going to go from here to here, like that, and then the wispy's going that way. Okay. Okay, that's done. Now I can do the rest. I'm still shaking. I'm freaking out because this is one you don't want to mess up because I tell you, this is a lot of paint and I do not want to scrape this. I practiced with my hair dryer how to, how I'm gonna blow this out. You think I remember what I did? No, not at all. Actually, let me just turn my husband's camera on. I forgot to do that. Because I want to make sure I'm recording all of this. All right, so that's going. Uh, next. Oh, spewing turquoise green. It's going to be hard to reach up here. All right. Well, oh, story time. Today, which you guys are watching, which is Monday, April 12th, it's Echo's birthday. It's his first birthday today, little rug rat. I'm going to try try being the key word. I wanted to do a little video of him, a little video montage of him growing up. What's going on with my gold? So if I have time, well, there you go. There was something in there. Good thing it's over there so that I can blow it out. There is something goopy. There it goes. I'm going to try to do a little video montage of him growing up in the last year. And if I have time and I get it done in time, I will add it to the end of this video, but I cannot promise because my life is just so busy right now. I'm trying to get um, all the merch out to the post office tomorrow. So I got to print a bunch of labels still. So I will try my best to do that. But either way, they're at uh, they're going to be at doggy daycare, and they are going to do something special for him for his birthday, because they always do that for the doggies that have birthdays. Boy, these colors are looking good. I'm a still nervous wreck. Really got a pit in my stomach because I'm just want to make sure. This works out. All 
I've never done a commission or even a triptych this big before. So um, I'll resin these when these are done because I have resined a 24 by 36 inch canvas and it was no problem to resin. So these are all gonna get resined with uh, crystal resin when they dry. Hopefully they dry quick because this is taking up more than half of my table. So, or just half of my table but I need my table space back. Okay, I can get rid of this. We'll put that over here now. Oh boy, okay, let's torch the bubbles. Move these out of the way. Move that out of the way. Let's torch the bubbles. We are uh, still in full lockdown. Can't get anything unless it's curbside but uh, curbside for essential items. Actually, no, we can do curbside for anything, but problem is waiting for curbside pickup. It's supposed to go to the end of the month, so we'll see what happens at the end of the month. Okay, I'm ready. Let's, uh, I gotta try and remember what I was gonna do here. So I think I was going to start up here just to get it out of the way. I'm going to blow the wispy first and then work my way and methodically think about the rest as I go. All right, let's uh, cross your fingers. Honey, cross your fingers for me. <laughs>
my hair dryer is on fire. I was blowing it out and hoping that it wouldn't short circuit or something on me or just die. Um, okay, honey, you can take your phone now. Thanks, honey. Just stop recording there. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited I can breathe now. You want to stop recording first? Here, hold on. Like this, honey. There you go. Thank you. Bye. Come again. Oh my goodness. Oh, I was like holding my breath the whole time. And it blew out perfectly, perfectly. So I've blown it out here to match. I managed to keep some of the white space in here. And then my goal was for nothing to touch in here. So I hope that it doesn't move enough or at all because it's level. I'm hoping none of this closes in because the whole point was to keep it separated. So I will come down and check on it like, I don't know, an hour from now. And if I see they're closing together, I'll just blow them this way and this way. But for now, it's okay. And I have my white negative space here. I've got it going on in here. And then the only thing is this blew out wide, so it's not really matchy-matchy. So I'm gonna try and blow a little bit out over here. But aside from that, I can also blow it in this way. I'm probably gonna have to crawl on the table or something. But if I really want, I can blow this part in. But I think I'm gonna leave that. So, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I don't even know what to look at first. It's so big. Um, I'm going to get my stool and I'm just going to try and blow just this part to see if I can get it to come a little bit more over here. But aside from that, I'm going to um, torch this white petal here just to get some, uh, yes, yeah, just to get some blue in here. And this white petal here, I'll show you guys on the close up what came about there. Oh, did I touch something? My apron's a little wet. Yeah, I touched white right here, which is fine. So I'm gonna torch this petal, this petal, just the white petals. I don't torch, as you notice, like the hard cover, the hard petals there. Okay, that's it, no more, oh wait, white petal here. Not much really came out about there. Okay, let me just fix the composition here. And then I'm going to bring you guys down for a close-up. I'm going to get my son's Thomas stool. And, uh, you know, me, not face plant, into the painting. Try not to. <laughs> my husband's watching, thinking I'm a nut job. I can't reach down far enough. Maybe this will be better. Oh, yes. Okay, so that's a little better, okay? And in fact, the canvas has to come down a little bit because I think there's more down here than there is up there. So that's actually going to work out. Oh, I got paint on my sleeve. That's okay. Um, okay, I am going to bring you guys down for a close up after I fix my edges. So let me fix my edges and my sides and I will bring you guys down for a close up. Be right back. All right, everybody. I've spent the last, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes uh, fixing all of my sides, scraping all of the drips with my stick there, uh, my awesome bamboo skewer. And so let's bring you in for a close. Oh, before I do that, so there's tripod one, tripod two, tripod three, three tripods. So I have a lot of editing to do. I'm gonna do my best to edit and learn how to edit a few things along the way. However, let's start with a close up. So I like, even though this is done and I'm so happy with it, I still have like this big knot in my stomach which is so bizarre because I just, you know, it's done and I love it and it looks great, but I just want to pray that it stays this way. Like, look at that. It's so amazing. I'm so, so, I don't even know which way to go. Do I go up? Do I go down? So 
and I know my client is watching and I hope she likes what she sees and you can see all the way up here I was actually able to get the edges on that part pretty easily actually from the other side of the table because it's 36 inches long and that's where I torched the petals which is nice because the color came out through there so that's the center panel now let's move to the last panel over here and I know my lighting's not the greatest because it's just the table's way too big on this side there's where I torched again look at the cells there I love it absolutely love 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 I'm so happy and so glad that I did not have to scrape this so you got one two three one two three okay I'm going to put on the flash and see what happens all right so I'm just going to start on one end and work my way but I'll just do a quick I'm not sure if I'm going to do the whole thing because I think you'll get the gist of it but uh definitely shimmer happening in there I just want to be careful I don't want to drop look at that drop anything into the painting a dog hair or something I don't know I just I'm like freaking out Look at that though, definitely. Woo, there it is. Look at that. I'll bring you down here. So there's definitely shimmer. And this of course will get a top coat of crystal resin. And for those of you who are interested, you can save 5% off your crystal resin order using code Canela5. All right, I didn't move up too far because I. I'm afraid to go too close. Oh, Juno didn't like something Echo did. Did you guys hear that? Oh, uh, that's pretty. Okay, I think you get the idea. So I am going to turn the lights back on. One sec. All right, everybody. So that is it for this video. And I am so relieved and so glad it's finally over. And I'm so, so happy with the outcome. And I want to know what you guys think about it in the comments below. So let me know in the comments. If you are new watching and you like what you see, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. Uh, everything you need to know is listed in the description below. To everyone who's donated to my PayPal channel or PayPal link, I always say channel for some reason. To those of you who have donated to my PayPal link, I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Uh, discounts for everything is listed in the description below as well. So that is it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching this one. Until next time, have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.